So, Sheila, we would love to know where do you keep your kimonos because I know you have hundreds, as you mentioned. Right. Well, the ones that I actually wear mm -hmm. on a daily basis, mm -hmm. I keep in my bedroom. Okay. But I have a secret little kimono space. Where can you show us? Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. This so, your this here you. This is the piece of secret. The secret closet. Yes, my secret <laughs> closet. So, in this one are wow. uh, these kimono belonging to my daughter, but these ones up here, they're mm -hmm. antique children's kimono. Children's kimono? Yes, because oh, sometimes oh. I dress like, kids for oh. Shichigo san. Shichigo san, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Oh, they're so cute. So, those are baby ones mm -hmm. there. And then these ones are for my daughter. And then this area here, is a furry sode for dressing uh, girls for the seijin shiki. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm. So these are all like that. They're all, not all of them are antiques, but mm, mm, mm. quite a few. So, of how them do you get antiques. all this, Sheila? Where do you get all them from? Uh, used recycled kimono stores. Mm. It became really a lot of recycled kimonos nowadays, right? Yeah, uh, mm. a lot more popular than mm, 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 it used to be. So, mm. so I love the I colors. Love them. Yeah, I the colors. It's so colorful. Yeah, mm. yeah. These colors are amazing. Mm. And this so you one. have to properly put it in this way because so that they don't get creased mm. they have to be folded like this right, right so every fold is on a seam on the seams right yeah, yeah. so then mm. they don't get spoiled mm. Mm -hmm. and there are some some newer ones in there you, too um, for those of you who doesn't know kimono you can't really wash them at all right no you can't wash them you can even even dry cleaning you can right not really there is a special kind of kimono dry cleaning and that's that's usually expensive, right? Very expensive. Mm. So you don't mess them up. Exactly. <laughs> and then these are all the underwears for mm -hmm. these. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you wear the when you wear this kind of a kimono, mm -hmm. this draw ways of town. The obi. <laughs> these are the fukuro obi. Fukuro obi. Oh so gosh, they are woven beautiful. with the. Oh, wow. They're woven with the gold, mm -hmm. gold threads and silver threads in them. Look at that, that pattern. Yeah, I love this one. Mm. I sometimes use this for the whole monkey. It's very ethnic in a way, right? Like the, yes, the, the but the uh, uh, triangle design mm. is very mm. popular in mm. Japan. But these borders uh, look kind of yeah. Middle Eastern or something. Mm, yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. Like yeah. very Middle Eastern vibe you have there. Pure. Ooh, like headsets. Hair accessories for children mm, here. Mm, mm, mm. Lots of little mm, pretty so things cute, yeah. to make little girls excited. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> There's no better work than turning someone into a princess, right? Makes yeah. them so happy. Makes them feel so mm, great. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, so these are all like these super formal kimono for women. And then on the other side, I have like men's ones mm. or my own formal wear mm -hmm. is in here. Right. And how many closets do you have so I in have, your house, in the, in this house? So I have these two uh -huh. uh, plus these boxes. So you have to keep them like, you know, properly, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then I have one more of these downstairs in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's, it's full. <laughs> and you're planning to have more, right? <laughs> <laughs> I do my best not to acquire uh -huh. any more um, because I have several boxes as well of ones that right. I need to give away to people. But the thing is, like, you can actually save them and, you know, I mean, not, not recycle, more of like preserving them and in the future people can use it, right? Oh, yes, indeed. Like, some of these in here are probably almost. 100 years old. Some exactly, of them are more yeah, right? than 100 years old. Came from the recycle shops yeah. too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Thank you for showing us your beautiful
collection. You have this books and this one, The Social Life of Kimono, which you mentioned earlier. Yes. I started reading it, but I haven't done it yet. I'm, I'm going to read it more. <laughs> I've learned a lot already, like just reading a few chapters about this. And you have another one. Can you please tell us about the books that you have? Yeah, so this one was mm -hmm. the, the base of this was the PhD. Mm -hmm. And it explains why um, fashion didn't just develop in Europe, but Japan had its own independence fashion system since mm -hmm. at least as as old as the one in Europe. Mm -hmm. And then the second half of the book is like a, kind of uh, an overview of mm. the kimono industry, people involved in kimono now. Mm. So it mm. kind of brings kimono up to date, although I feel like it needs some revision again now because mm. things are moving so fast. Mm, 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 mm. And then this one oh, yeah. <clears throat> grew out of a lot of photographs that Todd took of me when I was going to interview people. Mm. Um, about their kimono closets. Can, can you show us a little bit about it? The and it, it's called Sheila Kimono Style, and mm. it's a style book. Mm -hmm. I hoped that the bookshops would put it with the other style books, but they mm -hmm. didn't. They put it with the kimono books. Mm, 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 mm. Um, so it's all like photos. Yes, it's in different like stylings and yes, different match, styling. Match with different. And if there are any comments on the photographs, they're all bilingual. So. Mm. Oh, I love this one. Look at this one, like with this hat. <laughs> Like yes, a summer hat. A hat. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. It doesn't look like Japan. It, it doesn't like... look like it is like you're in Monaco. <laughs> yes, that, that's, the, that's image the image I wanted right? to create. And mm -hmm. <clears throat> this book was really popular and we reprinted it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we're reprinting it again, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now I'm bringing out, I only have the, the sample of the cover. Mm. Da, 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 da. For the next one, yes, oh. Sheila Kimono Style Plus. Uh, 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 uh. So you're working on it now. Um, it's actually at the printers. Printer. I've done oh. all the the work. So when is the release? Uh, it will be in the shops on November the first. So I'm not sure whether this program will be first or right, the, right, right, right. The book will be first, but it will be in the shops very soon. Oh, interesting. So congrats to that. I'm excited. So another thing I would love to talk to you about. Um, is your daughter, Natasha. Oh, <laughs> Natasha, my I was, one. <laughs> I was fortunate to have met your daughter, Natasha. Yeah. And her being a part of the LGBT community, the community that I belong to, um, I wonder how did you, um, how, how everything started and how did you handle Natasha when she came out to you? She tells me, that I didn't take any notice and she came out to me four times. <laughs> <laughs> four times, yeah, four times. It's a lot. <laughs> um, I'm really sorry. <laughs> but 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 I was I was wondering though that did you notice that ever since or not really? You didn't have a clue. Um I noticed that she has a very strong uh both artistic element to her personality and also uh, a very kind of aggressive mm. and boyish mm, 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 mm. element to her personality. Mm, mm, mm. And she is, um, people have called her a force of nature. Mm. And mm. so sometimes she was volatile, mm -hmm. quite very emotional, difficult to con for her to control her emotions mm -hmm. um, when she was growing up. Mm -hmm. But she had quite a bit to deal with, quite a powerful older sister. Mm -hmm. And um, she also has dyslexia, so things were not easy for her at school. Mm -hmm. um, when she told me and I kind of realized she was telling me, I said to her, it might be a phase mm -hmm. because a lot of teenagers do go through a phase when they're very close to... And confused, right? Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. or just close to other girls or boys, mm -hmm. being very close mm -hmm. to other boys. Mm -hmm. But apparently that's the completely wrong thing to say. So I would not advise any other parent mm -hmm. to say that to their child mm -hmm. because 
even though it might be true, mm. it might be a phase, yeah. what the child hears is not, it might be a phase. What the yeah. child hears is, you're not taking what I'm saying seriously. Mm. 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 So right. I mm. wouldn't advise any other parent to do what mm. I did. Mm. 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 But I've never had any bad feelings about the fact that mm. so you, she's gay. When you when she when she came out to you mm. and you realized everything, you didn't have a problem with it. Like you, you just like it's just an acceptance to you right away. Yeah, I was mm. I was acceptance right away because um, every child is so different. Mm. You know, mm. I have th three kids and mm. they're all so different. So mm. I would never assume that one of them is going to be like the others. They're mm. all going to be right so different. Mm -mm 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 -mm. and if that's what how she's happy that's mm -mm -mm. perfectly okay with me i wouldn't want her to have to mm. pretend to right. be something else yeah so when you when that acceptance came how did you handle her like from then like how did did, did you do were there some difficulties were there some you know like for you like to going through that process no um i w i was okay with it and mm. by, by the way natasha is how old is she now? 19. she's 19 yeah she's 19. yeah mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. but she went away to school mm. Mm. so then i didn't see much for those two years that's almost two years that she was away mm. but um i knew from correspondence though she's she's not super good at corresponding to be honest with you mm. but she one thing she re took really told me that she wanted to do at school was to be a queer listener mm. which is um a student led initiative mm -hmm. could it, it's a boarding school so it's a big community of teenagers living together mm -hmm. and they are trained uh to listen to mm -hmm. other gay or lgbtq yeah mm -hmm. people tell their stories mm. and they're not allowed to talk about those it has to be completely confidential mm -hmm. so when she was in the first it's a two-year program mm. when she was in the first year i don't know if she went to a queer listener or anything but she decided that she wanted to be a queer listener mm. in her next year at school. Mm, 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 mm. And uh, she was very active in that community in the school. Mm, and it, mm. it seems like it was a big, a big community. Mm, it's quite mm. a large proportion mm, mm, mm. of not straight people. Yeah. Um, it's just amazing to hear coming from you, like, you know, accepting her when she, you know, came out because not many LGBTQ um, individuals is having the same, you know, like the same situation as what you just, mm -hmm. you know, showed your daughter mm -hmm. to Natasha. So having that, you know, like you being so open and being so accepting and, you know, supporting her even up until now, you, mm -hmm. you know, support her in whatever she's happy. I think that's, you know, that's really important. Yeah, I mean, mm. I, I think parents put so many of their own ideas mm. often onto kids, you know, mm. they, they do this, so then they have to go to university and then they mm. have to do this. And, you know, I think we should always try and be open to the fact that there are so many different paths mm. and not everyone can walk a... Mm. A straight path that I wasn't meaning that mm, mm, mm. in um, a sexual way but mm. but you can apply that too mm, right mm, yeah we can't all sure. walk a straight mm. path exactly mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. so she has to walk the path that is her her mm. honest mm. true to herself path mm. and I wouldn't want to force her to do anything else mm. Oh, so amazing to hear that coming from you. <laughs> and I'm sure she'll be happy to hear this, you know. I, I, I think that her experience in her school, mm. you know, them giving her that resp responsibility and being part of that community mm -hmm. was, um, ha must have really strengthened her and 
helped her to feel okay with herself.、Mm. The community in schools, not just in school, I mean, like the community that she joins is important, but it's also important. The family, right? The family、yes. support is everything. Yes. Yeah, and to have that, you like supporting her in that, like, I think it's really, you know, will help her, you know, in many, like, coming, because she's still 19, you know? Like, yes. Imagine from now on, like, we don't know what's, what's, what, you know, some sort of struggles that she's gonna have in her life, but having you, you know, right beside her, it's, Everything for her. Yeah, I have to. I mean, she's a part of so many minorities. You know,、mm, she's half、mm. Japanese. Exactly.、Yeah. She's,、uh, she, she's, she's got this dyslexia thing、mm. going on, and、mm, then she's、mm. got this thing going mm, on. Mm, mm, so, mm. you know, it would be easy for someone to get depressed about all that stuff、right. going on. Right. Yeah. So. So true. Thank you for so being, being so vulnerable and talking to me about it. I really appreciate it. <laughs> really appreciate it. I think it's really important to hear, especially parents like you, right? Like to know this, that. And one of the main p u r p o s e of me doing the podcast is because I want to educate people about our community through the LGBT community because、mm. that's what they need to hear and,、mm. and they need to know, right? Yeah. yeah.、Mm. My, and another thing I would say, like my older daughter, She's,、um, she's straight, but she went through a terrible heartbreak,、mm. a t- horrible breakup. Mm, mm. And、uh, I was really afraid for her mental health and couldn't, with my own power, pull her out of that dark place that、mm. she got into. And、um, so I got a professional counselor. Help.、Mm. Yeah, professional.、Mm. If you need mental support, exactly. Go to a professional. Exactly. And、yeah. uh, my, my younger daughter, Natasha, she also, you, when she's feeling、mm. really unstable about her mental health, she、mm. goes to this, the same professional.、Mm. But I would say to any parent, if it's、mm. bigger than you can handle, get mental help.、Mm. You know,、mm. it's, it costs an awful lot of money, but it's so, so worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially nowadays, right? Especially yeah, nowadays. Yeah, so many people are suffering from,、um, from mental mm. health problems. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so thank you for say- saying that. I really appreciate that. So, Sheila, I just want to thank you for this time, for making this time today, and for hosting us here in your beautiful house.、Thanks. Here, and I, I am loving this house. I've been here a few times. I'm really grateful for you for taking this time to talk to us and share, sharing us about your knowledge about the kimono. And、um, we were, we, I would love to support you, whatever you do. And I will definitely link in all the information that you have. Thank you. And、um, I hope we can definitely do this again because I know that you have so much things to say and so much things, knowledge about that we don't know about, not just, not just the kimono culture, but in Japan in general, right? Living here in Japan for that long, I'm sure you have so many things that you know that many people d o e s n t know. So, really, thank you so much for this time. Thank you. <laughs> Any final words that you would love to say, share and t- t- tell to everyone? Love your life, love your mm, clothes, mm. Be, be colorful, be who you are. Oh, I、yes. love that. <laughs> That's a really, really great reminder for everyone to think, you know, be who you are and be colorful and be,、yes. you know, your authentic self. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Western clothes have got almost like a uniform.、Mm. You know, everyone's wearing plain, Every,、mm. no one's wearing bright colors.、Mm. So, Express yourself.、Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's mixed, mixed, it makes you happy, right? Like seeing colorful、Definitely. things and, I mean, you know, like exploring different things. And yeah. Yeah, color、sure. has a big influence on mental health.、Mm. <clears throat> exactly. So, again, thank you so much, Sheila, for the day. And I really love the kimono that I'm wearing today. Like selected by Sheila and her, one of her kimono collections. And I love what you're wearing too. So, I hope we can do this again in the、yes. near future. Thank, Thank you. you. Arigatou gozaimasu. <laughs>